All right, today's video is going over how to select different Ferala editors uh, per membership level or per form. And so let's go over the options in the form first, then we'll talk about the membership levels. Uh, so the normal Ferala editor has all of these elements here, including the link, the image, a video, et cetera, and the, the code. And what you would do in order to pick that, it used to have to do uh, this example. You used to have to pick a paragraph and use a Ferala form JavaScript widget add in some uh, Ferala CSS classes. And obviously I knew how to do that. Uh, developers know how to do that. Uh, you did not know how to do that, right? So it was a little confusing. So what they've actually uh, um, developed uh, recently here, uh, I don't think they've announced this actually yet. It's just one of those things that kind of showed up and it's a, a welcome addition for most people is that they have these new fancy fields called Ferala editor. And so if you pick that one, that is the, um, uh, I'm sorry, the user upload, that's the normal one that used to look like this, where there just has all the stuff in there. Um, they also have this one that is called uh, just Ferala Editor. And the difference between that one, uh, the, just the Ferala Editor and the upload, is it just doesn't have the upload capability. So you cannot uh, do the code and you cannot do the video and the images. So you see that those icons are missing. The only thing available now is the new emojis and then the links. So the real question on uh, the forum here uh, for this one is how to get rid of the link as well and then how to do it per membership. So um, there also is an advanced setting that was m mentioned in here um, and it is uh, allow live links and text editor description. So just type in links. It'll come up here and I'm going to turn that off this time. I'm going to hit save. So not only does that not allow you to add uh, links into the descriptions and there's also one for the quote section actually as well because people were putting uh, quotes in there because you can use html in that section so that's an option as well but if i come back here and i after saving that i'm just going to refresh this you'll notice that that link option in the ferala editor is gone um, and they won't be able to add live links in there, and they also won't be able to do that. So that morphs the uh, Ferala uh, upload version as well as the normal version. And then let me talk about the, uh, the, the third version here, and that's Ferala Editor Admin. So you may be saying, well, what's that? Well, what that does is that allows uh, the for the image item here, um, it adds an extra tab when you click on there. Normally, it'll be an upload or uh, upload via URL where you just type in the URL and it'll upload the image. There, uh, If you turn on the admin one, it adds a third tab in there, which then allows you to open up the images that you have in the back end of your um, directory. So clean your logos, all the banners, all that stuff that's in the folder structure. So be very careful about that. Uh, you don't want necessarily your users uh, to be able to, to get into there, but maybe you do, right? Maybe you have assets in there that like predefined images and then that's available for them to upload. Just realize that's where all your storage is at for everything. So they're going to they're gonna see everything. Um, so that's how you would edit the form. Now the question is, how do you change it for individual membership levels? So if you go into the finance and membership plans, You are going to see, let's just click into any group. We'll just do this one. Let's do the uh, developer one for mine. But uh, inside of any particular group here, um, you're going to um, have a setting in here for the middle tab for membership dashboard. You're going to see these forms here. And so these are the contact details forms. This is where... Um, you know, I don't, there's not normally a Pharrell, or a Pharrell editor. There. There's always one in the about. So that that's one. But notice it all, they all have listing about member. They're all the same, right? And so what you want to do is go into your setting or toolbox and form manager, clone the listing about member form and call it listing about member developer. And then, or name whatever you want. And then once you have additional about member clones, then... You can save it, come back in here to any, each individual profile. I would then select not listing about member. I would cl click listing about member developer and then uh, save that. And now that membership level is using a unique form for that particular membership level. And then you go back into the form and edit the form however you want. So maybe you change the, uh, for the basic, you change it to the about uh, user. And then for the the premium, you change it to the, you know, that, that field drop down for the Ferrell editor to the user upload, which has that uh, additional capability. Um, the only issue there is that that link option obviously is for um, uh, universal 
um, so that they uh, they do or do not have that. Um, however, there is a capability um, that you'll have, you know, to use with a developer where you can have um, that particular uh, setting or script um, turned on for a particular membership level where it's only triggered um, if that particular membership uh, level is uh, logged in or if that, that if they're, that user is in that particular uh, membership uh, level as well. So, um, but that that's just not something that you do in the settings. You'll have to get uh, contact with the developer to do that. So that's the only caveat on there. Um, so hopefully answered the, the questions about the possibilities inside of there and then what you need a developer for. But uh, uh, all good stuff inside of BD, uh, ability to adapt and change the file editor based on the membership level uh, and uh, what you want turned on uh, or off. Uh, obviously, there's... There's a myriad of other stuff that they, you know, you could do. Obviously, that just becomes a, you know, impossibility to have, uh, you know, 25 different file editor forms for, uh, you know, specific use cases or whatever. Uh, just becomes unintendable uh, to to maintain just for the the masses there. So, um, but I think uh, it has enough flexibility there. It should be able to do most of what everybody wants to do for that stuff. And uh, I think it's just some really great capabilities inside of there. And they've made it now easier to do with that extra Ferala pull down that makes it super simple for everybody to kind of switch between, uh, you know, those standard types. Hopefully it helps everybody. Have a great day.